Good morning, dear children. Welcome back to EVS class. Today we can start a new chapter. That is chapter number 13. Sharing our feelings. Sharing our feelings. What is feelings, children? You may have heard the word feelings. What is feelings? Ah, feelings are emotions. Emotions. Maybe we have, sometimes we may be very happy. Sometimes we may be very sad. Sometimes we may feel uh, somewhat uh, upset. Okay. These are some uh, feelings. These are our feelings. So, uh, do you think we only have these feelings? No. All the people have uh, their own feelings. See, if you feel sad, what you will do? Uh, to whom you will approach where you will go if you are no if you are very sad uh, you will you may go to your parents or you may tell the uh, reasons for your sadness or you will say your feelings with your uh, friends also okay if you are very happy you will say to parents or uh, friends also Okay, what is senses children? We have learned uh, five sense organs. That is uh, ear, nose, tongue, skin and eye. So these sense organs uh, give us some feelings. Uh, these feelings also may affect some people. There may be uh, defect for uh, these sense organ if the um, eye, eye is not working we cannot see the things so that will make the person blind then those who cannot hear cannot uh, hear they if they cannot see they, that persons also want to live in the world so we will understand many things in this chapter so teacher will explain one by one Okay, children, we can continue the chapter. Before starting this topic, you should uh, understand these things. We should be friendly towards special person like who can't see, that is blinds. Mentally challenged people. Deaf and dumb, we have already learned. Those who can't hear and talk. Physically challenged people, those who can't move. Or they cannot do the work. Okay. Then elderly people, old people, we should uh, take care of them. Kinds of problems people have in the old age. Loss of self-control. Uh, we should take care of these people. We can start our chapter. You can uh, read about Revi Baya. He is a blind. He teaches in a college. He does his work on his own. He loves reading books and uh, listening to music. He recognizes all the family members even though he can't see. See this children. Blind people can use this script for reading and writing this is called braille script see this is the code for uh, writing alphabets and uh, they can use computer also with the help of this script okay then about louis braille louis braille was a french educator who developed a system of printing and writing called braille that is extensively used by the blind when he was 15 he invented this universal system for reading and writing to be used by people who are uh, blind or visually impaired this is louis braille and his script he invented this script then next, open your textbook and read the story about Bhaiya. Then start writing these questions answer. Then reads the newspaper aloud uh, for Nani. How do you help old people? 
you can write i help my grandparents in searching their spectacles or helps to take medicines in time next question what kind of problems do people have in old age uh, see old pe people cannot see properly they cannot hear properly they cannot eat properly and joint pain also next question how do devi bhaiya come to know so many uh, things without seeing devi bhaiya comes to know some so many things by hearing he has a very sense of hearing next question have you ever needed a stick when do you need stick still then no so you can write we never need stick because we are children then next question uh, can you think when you may need a stick we uh, when we get a fracture in legs or to climb a rock we need a stick how do we help those people who cannot see uh, we can help by offering seats in buses for crossing the roads etc